Have you ever found yourself really frustrated by a lack of results, a lack of getting whatever it is that you want, like your goal, even though you feel like you're putting in a maximum amount of effort on it? If you've been in that space, this video is for you because we're going to be looking at really what that effort is because it should be no surprise that elite results require elite effort. Despite what a bunch of marketers want to tell you that you can make a million dollars in the next 30 days by working from your mother's basement with a dial-up internet connection. That is very, very rare if it even happens at all. So you know that elite results require elite effort. And a lot of times you can be going through your day thinking that you're giving out the maximum amount of effort that you need to give out in order to get the results that you want, but for whatever reason, the results aren't showing up. If that happens in your life, then I want you to consider that maybe you don't know what it is even to put a 10 out of 10 effort in. Now, I got convicted myself on this when I was watching an Alex Hormozy video the other day where he was talking about this very concept. And I wanted to share it with you too in case you see my channel, but you don't see his channel. Or maybe you just need to hear it again because it really is relevant and it's really impactful to everything that we do. Where if your results that you want in your life aren't showing up the way that you want them to and you think you're giving a 10 out of 10 effort, it might be the simple fact that your 10 really isn't a 10. And so I want to run through different domains of my life and audit what those look like. And unfortunately, this isn't going to be pretty because I've got some really lofty goals. And chances are, if you're watching this, you've got really lofty goals too. Nobody starts out wanting something different in their body, like in fitness and go like, yeah, it'd be great. Like if I just wasn't like obese and super, super fat, like you want to be fit. Nobody starts a new business and says, It'd be awesome if I could work four to five years and maybe make $50,000 a year out of this thing. No, we think I'm going to make a couple million dollars out of this thing. But what we rarely don't recognize or where we rarely recognize is the amount of effort that it actually takes to get the results we want. I remember a guy who was interviewing for one of my programs several months ago and what he said he wanted was he said he wanted to look like me. And I was very flattered by that, obviously. He had seen a picture of me on Instagram back when I was on Instagram. And it was right after I'd finished 75 hard. It probably looks just like that picture that I'm showing you right there. And I did look good, right? But I'd put in so much effort. And what he told me that he was able to do was work out three days a week and he'd be pretty good on his food about five days a week. And I'm sitting there thinking like, yeah, his expectation of result doesn't match anywhere near what effort it is that he actually needs to put in to get it. Because to get that, I had to be working really, really hard for about 25 years that just got supercharged for the last 75 days when I was doing 75 hard. That was a 10 out of 10 effort, and that's exactly what this looks like. So as I audit myself, and I think about four primary domains in my life, and I want you to consider that there are really only four primary domains in your life that you need to pay a lot of attention to as well. First one is body. That's your physical form, your health, your confidence. Then there's being, which is your spirituality, your connection to God, or whatever it is that you do for you that's bigger than who you are on this planet. And there's balance, which is your relationships with your spouse and your children, your parents, your friends, all of those things. And then the fourth domain is business. Business is the amount of money you make, the amount of money you keep, the amount of money that you grow. All of these things, body, being, balance, and business are the four core domains of your life. So I thought it'd be fun because I'm a discipline coach. I help people do things that are hard that they don't want to do to get results that they actually really do want. To audit myself in each of those core four domains to see how I stack up so maybe you can check it out yourself. Plus, I don't want to cast judgment on anybody without actually going through the judgment myself. So let's look at the very first domain. First domain is body. And in body, it's always been a very high level of effort for me. I've always put a lot of thought into this ever since I was 15 and my sister told me that I would never have girls like me if my arms were skinny. And so I've been paying attention to this for a really, really long time. And a lot of times my effort is a 10 out of 10, but not always because there's a level of fitness that is like my baseline that I'm always at. And then there's the elite level of fitness that I get to every now and then. And it's very clear that the difference between an 8 out of 10, which is where I am today when I'm recording this video, and a 10 out of 10 is really, really big. Now let's take a look at being. This is spirituality. And for me, this is a connection in God. I believe in God. But I didn't for a really long time. And I'm talking 42 years and I'm 43 when I'm recording this video. And so when I look at what a 10 out of 10 effort is for me and being, yeah, I meditate. I meditate a lot. I meditate for 40 minutes a day. 
and I read one chapter in the Bible and I've got to ask myself, is that a 10 out of 10 in terms of the effort that I need to put forth and ultimately to get what I want, which is salvation and God's help to do the things that I'm trying to do on this planet and ultimately deliver glory to him. Is it really a 10 out of 10 effort or is it somewhere south? With that one, my report card is undecided because I don't know what a 10 out of 10 looks like inside of that. Let's move on to balance. That's my relationship for me with my wife and with my children. And I'd like to tell you that it's a 10 out of 10 all the time because I know what a 10 out of 10 in that space looks like. But the reality is that a lot of times where it's a nine or 9.5 out of 10, at least to create the relationships that I want, which are crazy, deep, connected relationships with all of my immediate family, with my wife, my son, and my daughter. But when I look at it, it's like my wife and I go on two dates a week and we go away quarterly just together without the kids and we get super connected on those things. But there are nights and, and nights out where we're just watching Netflix on the couch where we're together, but ultimately we're alone. And with my kids, I wind up going out and taking them out on one date a week each. We go and we'll like play golf with my son or we'll go get ice cream with my daughter and draw. She loves to do that. But there are other dads that are coaching the team and other dads that are helping put together the play and running lines with their daughter at night about the play. And those are things I don't do. So I think I've got to give myself a nine out of 10 in my effort when it comes to parenting. The business domain was actually the most surprising one for me because that's where I thought like, if anything, I'm given a 10 out of 10 in my business. That's where I thought I was given a 10 out of 10. But I recognize that it's not. When I was watching this Alex Hormozzi video, he was talking about the amount of content that he pushes out and he thought it was a 10 out of 10. And then he was talking to Grant Cardone and Grant Cardone showed him what a 10 out of 10 is. So I've been publishing about one podcast a week for the past several months thinking like, okay, that's good. I'm putting a podcast out into the world. Then I recognize, no, bro, you really need to do three podcasts a week. I just got serious about doing YouTube videos a couple videos ago. And no, I got to do more than one a week. I've got to do like four a week in order to really have a 10 out of 10. When it comes to the amount of emails that I send out to my list or the amount of engagements that I try to get or the phone calls that I have, sales calls, posts, all this stuff, like it was nowhere near a 10 out of 10. What I thought was a 10 out of 10 was actually like a six out of 10. No wonder the results that I ultimately want, and I've got some really high expectations for what my results are gonna be, didn't show up because my effort level wasn't there. That's my most honest assessment of everywhere I am in each one of those domains. And the thing that I want you to get out of this is that when your expectation of results doesn't match your willingness to put forth effort, all that is is a recipe for frustration. And so you've got to find a way to match your level of expectation with your willingness to go all in and be a 10 out of 10 to whatever that expectation is. And as you leave this video, ask yourself a couple of questions, which is exactly what I did. Where in my life are the 10 out of 10 results that I want not showing up? Start with that, then go to a spot that says, how's my effort in each one of those areas trying to get that 10 out of 10 result? Chances are, if you're like me, you're gonna find out that it's less effort than you actually need to put out in order to get the result you want. And then the key is to take action on it.